हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल जर्नी विथ विजय कुमार श्रीवास्तव टुडे माय प्रेजेंटेशन टाइटल इज फोटोसिंथेसिस बिफोर प्रेजेंटेशन लिटिल इंट्रोडक्शन अबाउट माय सेल्फ आई एम विजय कुमार श्रीवास्तव आई हैव डन एम एग्रीकल्चर विथ स्पेशलाइज इन एग्रोनॉमी फ्रॉम जी पी पंत यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर एंड टेक्नोलॉजी पंत नगर इन एंड प्रेजेंटली वर्किंग एज ए सीट प्रोफेशनल इन सीड इंडस्ट्री एंड एसोसिएटेड विथ वन ऑफ द एम सो लेट्स मूव टू द प्रेजेंटेशन वाट इज फोटोसिंथिस Plants make their own food by photosynthesis. This process is a chemical reaction that uses light energy. The word photosynthesis comes from the Greek language, where photo means light and synthesis means putting together. Means photosynthesis just means putting together with light, and plants are making their food. Photosynthesis is the process by which. autotrophic organisms use light energy to make sugar and oxygen gas from carbon dioxide and water means the reaction is 6co2 plus 6h2o converted to glucose c6h12o6 plus 6o2 here we have shown the chemical reactions of photosynthesis here we are using the carbon dioxide 6co2 plus water 6h2o in presence of light energy it is converted to sugar C6H12O6 plus release of oxygen, which is used by human. So, in this, this is the photosynthetic reaction. In case of cellular respiration, there will be breakdown of glucose C6H12O6 plus 6O2, and it will convert to carbon dioxide and water. The basics of photosynthesis: almost all plants are photosynthetic autotrophs. as are some bacteria and protists autotrophs generate their own organic matter through photosynthesis sunlight is transformed to energy stored in the form of chemical bonds in photosynthesis the light reactions convert solar energy to chemical energy and produce atp plus nadph and in dark reactions the kelvin cycle makes sugar from carbon dioxide here atp is generated by the light reactions provides the energy for sugar synthesis and the nadph produced by the light reactions provides the electrons for the reduction of carbon dioxide to glucose as discussed earlier that there is photosynthetic cycle having two stages first is light dependent reactions and second is kelvin cycle which is light independent reactions light dependent reactions which takes place in the thylakoid membrane use light energy to make atp and nadph and in case of dark reaction there is kelvin cycle where the sugar is produced photosynthesis occurs in chloroplasts in most plants photosynthesis occurs primarily in leaves in chloroplasts a chloroplast contains a stroma which is a fluid and then grana extracts of thylakoids the thylakoids contain chlorophyll chlorophyll is the green pigment that captures light for photosynthesis chloroplasts are having pigments the chloroplast contains several pigments like chlorophyll a chlorophyll b and carotenoids why is photosynthesis important green plants and trees use photosynthesis to make food from sunlight carbon dioxide and water in the atmosphere it is their primary source of energy the importance of photosynthesis in our life is the oxygen it produces without photosynthesis there would be little to no oxygen on the planet now we will study about factors which are affecting photosynthesis first one is light it is the most important factor of photosynthesis any kind of artificial light such as electric light can induce photosynthesis out of the total sugar energy only 1 to 2% is used for photosynthesis and the rest is used for other metabolic activities the effect of light on photosynthesis can be studied under three categories first one is light intensity second is light quality and third is light duration first light factor is light intensity it is a specific light intensity the amount of carbon dioxide used in photosynthesis and the amount of carbon dioxide released in respiration are volumetrically equal this specific light intensity is known as light compensation point at very high light intensity beyond a certain point the photosynthetic cells exhibit photooxidation this phenomenon is called solarization 
एंड ए रिजल्ट ऑफ दिस इनएक्टिवेशन ऑफ क्लोरोफिल मॉलिक्यूल्स ब्लीचिंग ऑफ क्लोरोफिल मॉलिक्यूल्स एंड इवन इनएक्टिवेशन ऑफ सम एंजाइम्स टेक प्लेस रिजल्टिंग इन द डिस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ होल फोटोसिंथेटिक एपरेटस इन जनरल लो लाइट इंसेंट्री फेवर्स एस्टोमोटल क्लोजर एंड इन टर्न रिड्यूस रेट ऑफ फोटोसिंथिस इफ यू विल सी द क्रोलेशन बिटवीन लाइट इंटेंसिटी एंड फोटोसिंथिस एज लाइट इंक्रीजेज रेट ऑफ फोटोसिंथिस इंक्रीजेज सेकेंड लाइट फैक्टर इज लाइट क्वालिटी मीन्स वेब लेंथ फोटोसिंथिस अकर्स ओनली इन द विजिबल पार्ट ऑफ लाइट स्पेक्ट्रम लाइक बिटवीन फोर हंड्रेड टू सेवन हंड्रेड एन एम द मैक्सिमम रेट ऑफ फोटोसिंथिस अकर्स एट रेड लाइट फॉलोड बाई ब्लू लाइट द ग्रीन लाइट हैज मिनिमम इफेक्ट एंड फोटोसिंथिस कैन नॉट टेक प्लेस आइदर इन द इन्फ्रा रेड और इन द अल्ट्रा वायोलेट लाइट थर्ड लाइट फैक्टर इज लाइट ड्यूरेशन इन जनरल ट्रॉपिकल प्लांट्स गेट टेन टू ट्वेल्व आवर्स ऑफ लाइट पर डे एंड दिस लॉन्गर पीरियड ऑफ लाइट फेवर्स फोटोसिंथिस सेकेंड फैक्टर इज कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड इज वन ऑफ द रॉ मेटेरियल्स रिक्वायर्ड फॉर फोटोसिंथिस If the carbon dioxide concentration is increased at optimum temperature and light intensity, the rate of photosynthesis increases. But it is also reported that very high concentration of carbon dioxide is toxic to plants, inhibiting photosynthesis. If we will see the general correlation between carbon dioxide and photosynthesis, there will be increase, age increase of carbon dioxide up to certain level. But if it is extreme level, then there will be downfall. third factor is temperature the rate of photosynthesis increases by increasing temperature up to 40 degree centigrade and after this there is reduction in photosynthesis high temperatures results in denaturation of enzymes and thus the dark reaction is affected the temperature requirement for optimum photosynthesis varies with the plants for example photosynthesis stops in many plants at 0 degree centigrade but in some conifers it can occur even up to minus 35 degree centigrade similarly photosynthesis stops beyond 40 to 50 degree centigrade in certain plants but certain bacteria and blue green algae can perform photosynthesis even at 70 degree centigrade if we will see that relation between temperature and photosynthesis if temperature is low the rate of photosynthesis will be low if temperature increases rate of photosynthesis increases but if temperature is too hot beyond certain levels then there will be drop in photosynthesis fourth factor is water water has indirect effect on the rate of photosynthesis although it is one of the raw materials for the process the amount of water utilized in photosynthesis is quite small and even less than 1% of water absorbed by plant water rarely act as a limiting factor for photosynthesis during water scarcity the cells become flaccid and the rate of photosynthesis might go down fifth factor is oxygen oxygen is a by product of photosynthesis and an increase in the oxygen concentration in many plants result in a decrease in the rate of photosynthesis the phenomenon of inhibition of photosynthesis by oxygen was first discovered by warburg in 1920 in green alga cholerella and this effect is known as warburg effect this is commonly observed in c3 plants in plants there is a close relationship between warburg effect and photorespiration the substrate of photorespiration is glycolate and it is synthesized from some intermediaries of kelvin cycles in plants that so warburg's effect increased oxygen concentration result in diversion of these intermediates of kelvin cycle into the synthesis of glycolate thereby showing higher rate of photorespiration and lower photosynthetic productivity sixth factor affecting photosynthesis is mineral elements the elements like magnesium iron copper chlorine magnesium and phosphorus etc are involved in the key reactions of photosynthesis and hence the deficiency of any of these nutrients caused reduction in photosynthesis seventh factor is chlorophyll content it is very much essential to torf the light energy in 1929 emerson found direct relationship between the chlorophyll content and rate of photosynthesis in general the chlorophyll sufficient plants are green in color showing efficient photosynthesis the chlorotic leaves due to irregular synthesis of chlorophyll or breakdown of chlorophyll pigment exhibit in 
efficient photosynthesis. Eighth factor is leaf. The leaf characteristics such as leaf size, chlorophyll content, number of stomata, leaf orientation and leaf age are some of the factors that are responsible for photosynthesis. The maximum photosynthetic activity is usually seen in the physiologically functional and full size leaves, usually third fourth leaf from the tip of the shoot system. And ninth factor is carbohydrates. If the accumulated carbohydrates are not translocated, the photosynthetic rate is reduced and respiration is increased. Sugar is converted into a starch and gets accumulated in the chloroplast. This reduces the effect surface in the chloroplast and rate of photosynthesis is decreased. Tenth factor affecting photosynthesis is phytohormones. Treherne in 1970 reported first that photosynthesis may be regulated by plant hormone system. He found that gibberellic acid and cytokinin increase the carboxylating activity and photosynthetic rates. Medner in 1967 also reported that kinetin at the rate 3 micron causes 12% increase in photosynthesis within one hour of the treatment. So this was all about photosynthesis. Now my presentation ends here. Hope this presentation will be very very useful to all of you. Thank you very much. I have given you my YouTube channel details. Journey with Vijay Kumar Srivastava. Having request, please visit the channel, subscribe it and provide your kind and valuable feedback for further improvements. Thank you.